So now let's try this on the first most common emotional block that Forex traders and traders in any financial market tend to have. And that is, I am afraid to enter a trade. And then there are some different aspects of that. That's one of the most common problems. People see an entry signal and then they don't enter the trade. The first one is, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I don't know what's going to happen. Because every time you enter a trade, the future from the point of time where you enter the trade is unknown. And a lot of people would confuse that with some kind of responsibility that you have as a trader that you're supposed to know what's going to happen. You're not supposed to know what's going to happen after you enter the trade. You're only supposed to know whether or not you see an entry signal on your charts right now in the present. You're relieved of the responsibility of knowing what's going to happen after that. That's not your job. So that's the first most common problem is people are afraid to enter a trade because they don't know what will happen. So as soon as you catch yourself saying that in your mind, I see an entry signal, but I'm afraid to enter because I don't know what will happen. Then just say, oh yes, that's not part of this. I see an entry signal, therefore I will enter a trade. And if you enter a trade when you see an entry signal, if your trading method works, then you're going to have excellent results. The other aspect of the fear of entering a trade is based on the fear of losing money. And there is a tremendous amount of fear of having risk, the risk of losing. And you have to get over that because if you're going to be in the business of trading, every time you enter a trade, there's going to be a risk involved. You're going to want to neutralize and release that fear of risk so that you can master this business. If you're going to be in the business of Forex trading, you're going to be entering trades all the time and every time you're not going to know what's going to happen after you enter the trade and every time you're going to have risk of loss. So you might as well just get rid of that and then reduce this process to simply do you see an entry signal on your charts? And this is the other thing that I emphasize. You can learn to distinguish the difference between your thoughts and feelings and whether you see an entry signal on your charts. You see an entry signal on your charts and then you have a thought, I'm afraid that this might not go my, my way. I'm afraid that the market could turn on me. Okay, I see that thought and that feeling. That's not part of this. That doesn't have anything to do with it. I see an entry signal on the chart, therefore I, I enter the tray. Because the process is about, do you see an entry signal on your chart or not? It's not about, do you feel fear? That doesn't have anything to do with it. So if you can release those emotional blocks, you will be a master of trading. So let's try this now. Even though I'm afraid to enter a trade, because I just don't know what will happen after I enter, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm afraid to enter a trade, because I'm afraid of the risk of losing, I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though I'm afraid to enter a trade, because I just don't want to lose, I deeply and completely accept myself. Tapping on the eyebrow. I'm afraid to enter a trade. On the side of the eye. I'm afraid to enter the, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I might lose. Under the eye. I'm afraid to enter a trade because of the unknown aspect of the future. You can do both sides. I'm afraid to enter a trade because of the risk of loss. I'm afraid to enter a trade because of the unknown. I'm afraid to enter a trade because I just don't want to lose. Under the nose, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I might lose. On the chin, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I don't know if it will work out or not. 
on the collarbone, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I don't know whether it will go my way or not. I'm afraid to enter a trade because I might lose under the arm. I'm afraid to enter a trade because I might lose other arm. I'm afraid to enter a trade because I don't know what will happen after I enter the trade. The top of the head, another point that a lot of Meridian tappers like to end with. I'm afraid to enter a trade because I'm a, because of the risk of loss. Take a deep breath. You might want to try the nine gamut. In addition, I'm afraid to enter a trade because I might lose. I'm afraid to enter a trade. 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 Karate chop point. I'm afraid to enter a trade. I'm afraid to enter a trade. The back of the hand between the two knuckles. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Look down to the left. Look down to the right. Roll your eyes in a circle three times. Other way. Hum. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five times five is twenty five. I'm afraid to enter a trade. 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 Deep breath. Exhale and relax. Now repeat this whole process as many times as you need to until that fear of entering a trade is completely gone. You can measure each of these emotional blocks. Before you start, you can say the statement, I'm afraid to enter a trade, and then rate that on a scale of 1 to 10. After you do the tapping, test it. Just try it again and test and see where you think that lies this time. Was it a 7 before? Is it a 5 or 6 now? You need to do it again, get down to a 2 or 3. Do it again until it's completely neutralized uh, to the point where it's a 0. And then if, you, if it ever comes up again, do it again as many times as you need to until that fear of entering a trade is permanently gone and you're able to trade successfully without having that disruption in your nervous system and your mind. This will enable you to become a fully empowered professional trader who can get amazing results that other people only dream of.